Okay, we're still in the June tutorial here in algebra, and let's just say we have, we've got a third equation here, root 2x minus 1 plus 2 equals x. We have to isolate the third. It's the first step. You've got to subtract 2. And then, you once you've isolated the third, you can, because it's a square root, you just square both sides. So squaring the square root gets rid of the square root. But when you square x minus 2, you might have to uh, put two brackets and do FOIL and be very careful to get all the answers. There's x squared, minus 2 times minus 2 is plus 4, but the inside and the outside give you minus 4x when you multiply it out carefully. We add 1 to 4 to get 5 to both sides. We take away 2x from minus 4x, we get minus 6x. Then we factor x and x is x squared, minus 1 and minus 5 is plus 5, and minus 1x and minus 5x gives me the in, inside the linear term there. Well, here's your answers. x equals 1 and x equals 5. Now, a lot of people, they leave it there. They get a nice, gee, three, four marks, and then they leave the other two marks because they don't check the answers. You see, when you square a third, you can get crazy answers. So, we take 1, we put it in there and see if it's true. 2 times 1 minus 1, does it equal 1 minus 2? No, 1 doesn't equal negative 1, so it's not true. This one's out. But 2 times 5 minus 1 is 9, and the square root of 9 is 3, and 5 minus 2 is 3. So therefore, x equals 5 is your solution. Let's try the next question. Okay, we've got ourselves here, we've got... <laughs> a simultaneous equation we're supposed to solve. If we make it y equals 4 minus x, we're going to have to go 12 times y. Maybe it's better to go x equals 4 minus y. Now, wherever we see an x, we rub it out and put in 4 minus y. We substitute. So we see this x, we put in 4 minus y. Well, you get a mark for doing that. Now you just have to be really careful. 4 times 4 gives me 16. Minus y times minus y gives me y squared. But there's an inside and outside product that gives me minus 8y. Do this carefully and you'll get this right here. Now, this here you have to be really careful here because people mess it up often. Minus 5 times minus y is plus 5y. But you're multiplying it by y, so this is plus 5y squared. Minus 5 times 4 is minus 20 times y is minus 20y. So there, we got that right. Now let's put together the y squareds. We've got 2y squareds here, 2 times y squared plus 5y squared is 7y squared, 7 minus 12 minus 5y squared. We're putting together the like terms. We got minus 16y here, minus 20y here. That's minus 36y when we put it together. The only numbers are 2 times 16 is 32. I don't like that negative, so I multiply everything by negative 1 to make it a bit easier. You can put this in the quadratic formula, a, b, and c, and you'll get y is 5, 4 over 5, or minus 8. Or you can try and factor. It's 5y and y, and then you have to think, how am I going to get 40 here? Well, 8 times 4 is 32. 8 times 5y is 40y. And 40y minus 4y equals 36y. So if you're good at factoring, do it. But if you get stuck, you can use the quadratic formula. Now that we have y, all we do is take these y values and put it back in here. 4 minus 4 over 5. You should know that 20 over 5 is 4, minus 4 is 16 over 5, but you could use your calculator to do that. And then 4 minus minus 8 is 4 plus 8. That's 12. So there's the answer to that one. Well, there's um, the algebra part. I think there's a few more things with quadratics coming up, but we'll just leave it right there.